In Asia, more than 200 million people are affected by floods each year. Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand and many other countries are still experiencing terrible flooding on a regular basis. This flooding disturbs lives and livelihoods and really brings cities and industries to a grinding halt. The region also commonly experiences droughts, particularly when monsoons fail. As our climate changes, these events are happening more regularly and those with the fewest resources frequently must bear the brunt. After a major drought or flood event, it may take many years for the lives of the communities to get back to normal. Flooding is a global phenomenon, but across the developing world, affordable technologies that could mitigate its impacts are still needed. Traditional approaches to flood management have focused on shifting water from the often affected flood plains that in the dry season could be used for improving livelihoods. What makes this such a challenge is that it's just not enough for governments or donors to be investing in fixing the immediate problem. Science is needed so we invest in solutions that are holistic and worthwhile over the longer term. Underground taming of floods for irrigation or Utify works just like a bank account. Water is deposited in wet times and then withdrawn in the dry times. During the dry season, water resources are often stretched. Farmers draw upon whatever supplies are available, usually from wells, to irrigate their crops. while cities and industry also extract the water they need. In wet years, when all of the water storages fill up, the river cannot cope with the flows. Water spills over the banks and floodplains get inundated. Utify is best suited to addressing this particular form of flooding. Applying Utify would mean setting up numerous low-cost recharge facilities, essentially just ponds in upstream areas. During the rainy season, excess water flows into the ponds and infiltrates into the ground, adding to reserves and restoring the water table. Downstream flooding is reduced and high-value infrastructure and other assets are protected. During the dry season, the water stored below ground is easily retrieved using pumps to boost irrigation and livestock production. What's novel about Utify? Well, firstly, it's never been done at the scale it's needed. Secondly, it requires clever design and operation. Thirdly, it creates interdependence between communities located upstream and downstream. But there are also risks Utify may transfer pollutants from rivers to underground water or lead to overfilling of aquifers. Nor is the technique appropriate for flash floods. But experts think that these risks can be managed. Utify is a very innovative idea. It is a mix of technology, existing natural conditions in river basins and people working together to overcome the problems associated with climate variability. It could be a win-win situation for everyone involved. The Utify idea emerged as a spin-off from a research project conducted in the Chaopriya River Basin in Thailand. Through this project, we learned that the major flooding events in Bangkok could be averted. 28% of the flows to the Gulf of Thailand can be harvested and used for intensifying agriculture. This could be done without significantly impacting the freshwater used and marine ecosystems. Capturing peak flows that happen around one in four years would reduce flooding and generate over 200 million US dollars per year in export earnings for smallholder farmers through additional dry season cropping. Current Utify work is focusing on the South Asia region where the need is greatest. The Ganges Basin is not only one of the largest and most populated basins in the world. It is also subjected to frequent devastating floods in all the three countries that fall within it. 
The region is vast and the first step was to work out how to pinpoint hotspots where Utify might work. It's remarkable. We have discovered that about 30% of the watersheds in the Ganges are very good candidates for Utify. This could be a very effective way to start to control some of these disastrous floods. Amongst other things, we think that Utify could provide a cost-effective subsurface alternative to large surface dams. It all sounds promising, but to get Utify up and running, more testing in the field is needed. We are starting to understand where it could work and how it could work, under which conditions. We are starting to understand the costs and benefits of it and the trade-offs of it. Now what we need is the engagement of decision-makers and investors.